So I'm a spider, so what? An amazing show that I have absolutely fallen in love with the past two days. Y'all, I don't know what it is about this spider, but this spider makes this show so entertaining. And honestly, I'm here for every minute that she is on the screen, y'all. She is an amazingly... written entertaining character and with the plot of the story not that plot no y'all no y'all no i wish it was that plot but it ain't that plot it really keeps me entertaining keeps me watching and keeps me wondering what's to come and what's to happen next now when the people are on the screen like that's 15 years after her because everything that the spider does takes place 15 years before we see a hero son and then the, his new party mates and stuff like that so all her stuff takes place 15 years before that so that leaves you wondering okay well if all this stuff takes place to 15 years before where is she now what is she doing and it's cool because we get to see all the stuff that she was doing up until the point to wherever she is now and honestly i am completely confused on what character could be her 15 years now because of uh, the elf who was one of the people in the classroom who got reincarnated which was a uh, teacher said that our spider friend well actually i don't even know what character the spider friend is honestly because the character that they were asking about that i thought was the spider girl the girl who was quiet and always on her book that was sitting there and then the girl there is a girl in the show y'all i'm bad with names i don't know the names so if you see this show then you know who i'm talking about but there is a girl and i guess she bullied the girl who i thought was the spider and they were asking about her and then they were told by the teacher that she was no longer with them as in therefore foreshadowing that she had been killed within that 15 year time frame but um as we see the spider grow and we see her gain new abilities and level up and reach uh levels that spiders have never reached before she unlocks a new skill a new ability and that is called immortality so literally she can get exploded which we've seen happen um Cause at first I thought she was a dick. Damn, I'm hopping all over. I can't do reviews, bro. But <laughs> anyway, all right. Let me let me just rewind myself. We can go start back and lead back up to what I want to talk about. So look, we got this spider, um, and then these other characters who were all in the classroom at the beginning of the show, and some explosion happened, which we later find out that explosion was a cause from this this world. Um, the demon lord and the hero of that world were really strong, and what was they called? I think it was like spatial magic or. Whatever magic it was, it, it was able to allow them to get out of the dimension they were in in order to somewhat attack a minister D, who we believe is to be the creator of this world. And what that did is they ended up opening up in that classroom because whoever administrator D is was in that classroom. So that brings up another question like what student or like what student was administrator d because who we see administrator d is is like this god or this this all-powerful of this universe like literally can send a cell phone and communicate with anybody inside of this universe so i'm wondering who that is it's a big question and she is honestly the reason why all the classmates have gotten reincarnated into the world because she feels like that explosion happened because of her because the two the hero and the demon possibly could have been coming after her and she was in that classroom so it caused them to come there and their energy was too much to withstand and be held in that world and it created that explosion which killed all of those students so she decided to take the souls of everyone and reincarnate them into this new world of hers so she feels a bit responsible for it but at the same time she also just wants to watch everyone for her own entertainment and enjoyment which she has no problem letting us know because she's told our spider friend that time and time again that she was so entertaining and she loved watching her now let's go back now the spider was reincarnated obviously as a spider and grew up in this labyrinth and through this labyrinth she went on adventures fought monsters leveled up gained new skills and honestly became a spider like no other what makes her so different from all the other spiders though is because she is reincarnated from a human so therefore she still has her memories she still has her thought process and she's a lot smarter than a lot of the base level monsters which allows her to get past them when a regular spider possibly could not and then you also see that these skills allow her to level up and then take on bigger monsters as she fights earth dragons water dragons uh fire dragons and honestly her entire 
uh, spider brethren because uh, she has the ability to disobey the mother's order, which we find out later when she gets that after all her level ups and perks. But this character is an amazing character to watch, and honestly, you never know what to expect. And so everything that she does takes place 15 years before the present. And so it, it leaves me wondering on who she becomes 15 years later. Because at first I thought that she was going to become the Demon Lord, okay? I thought, okay, for sure, 15 years, oh, that's enough time to become the Demon Lord. The way she's progressing, the power she's getting, for sure she can become the Demon Lord, okay? Um, but then I was like, no, she is a spider. But then we learned that the spiders have a human form or a sort of human form called an arachne. Which I'm like, okay, well, maybe she leveled up and became an arachnid and then, you know, somehow became the demon lord. But no, 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 that's not true. Because it don't happen because the arachnid has like half body, half human. So I'm like, all right, all right, there's another way. And so I'm like, so Faye, who is another character that is in the present time that we see, um, she starts off as like a dragon who is accompanying Shun. And if you guys know who I'm talking about, you know who I'm talking about. If you don't know who I'm talking about, you gotta go watch the show. It's a great show and it's a terrible review. But you're watching it because I'm entertaining somehow. I don't know how this happens, but listen. So Faye is a dragon, the dragon evolves and, and turns to this flying thing and then she unlocks an ability called hum humanica humanication. Yeah, humanication. So she's able to turn into a human form. So I was like, okay, well maybe our spider friend leveled up enough and she's able to turn into a human form. But no, that's not it. Because the demon lord that I thought she would become is the same demon lord that just pulled up on her on episode 16. Now, there is something special about this spider because although this spider is, a, is just a spider, you feel me, one of the weakest monsters in the labyrinth. You know what I'm saying? at that level but she's her mind allows her to to uh surpass the limits of a spider and so everyone is kind of on her head a little bit like because she's doing stuff that they shouldn't that she shouldn't be able to do you know what i'm saying so at first uh this dragon i want to say he's the dragon lord because he, he popped up when a dragon got killed in the labyrinth but uh the administrator d kind of like told him hey chill out chill out chill out because they listen to administrator d whoever she is and then so after that she out fishing on the lake and then a demon lord pull up and just explode her body apart. Now, she's fine because she has immortality, which allows her to, like, live, regenerate, all that stuff. She just gained the ability. And so that also popped up another question for me is maybe the elf girl didn't know about her or maybe she's talking about a different student that isn't her because she said that the, character, that the student they were talking about is dead. So it can't be her. So this whole time I'm watching this show, I'm really trying to figure out who this student is because you find out who our main our present cast students are like they already know who they are they say the names they show flashbacks showing who they were and shows flashback of the other students and introduce you to possible students that could be the spider and honestly i don't know i believe i i think it's the quiet girl with the book i believe that was her um i believe she is the spider but then again i believe they were asking about her and then she said she was dead so either something happened in this 15 years to make her think that she's dead or maybe she's alive like so i'm not 100 percent sure but i do notice the demon lord uses like webs in order to like her powers and stuff so i don't know if there's a possibility that she fused with the demon lord or maybe her and the demon lord are are like the same like kind of like became one or something like that or if maybe the girl we see in all white that's walking and that's always around the demon lord could have possibly became um possibly came from the spider or if she is still out there doing stuff on her own 15 years later and will probably side up with the heroes or no telling what will happen in the future you know what i'm saying uh this story has a light novel to it and i'm honestly interested in picking it up i just want to see how far the season is going to go i'm not sure if 16 is was the last episode or how many episodes they're about to do it in this season but y'all i've been enjoying the show right now and um I just really wanted to make a video to let y'all know I was watching it and I binged it and I don't and it, like I'm enjoying it and I feel like it's something y'all should watch uh I'm not really good at this review stuff so I'm gonna keep doing it until I get better at it because that's the only way you can get better is if you continue to practice so I'm gonna continue to practice I think next time I'm gonna write a script though so I can kind of like get all my thoughts down and just like run through it I just really excited about the show and I just wanted to talk to y'all 
and you know let you guys know that I've been watching and if it's anything that you guys are interested in yo it has comedy in it it's entertaining there has fights in it like she is badass for a spider bro like she really be getting dragons together getting spiders together getting humans together she don't care what race you are bro she is getting you together and not even to mention the other cast of characters we have a rivalry going on between a jealous a jealous dude who wants to take over the world and make it his and then we have the you know the classic heroine protagonist who wants to save the world and live up to his brother's dream and hopefully one day the demons and the uh humans can live together and then we got the characters that you know all come around and support him and then we have this spider off on her own doing her own thing and honestly i feel like she could carry the show herself to us she looks cool and like funny and cute but to everyone else she looks like a regular monster spider you feel what i'm saying but there's something different about her because she can't cut she seemed to can't be able to communicate with humans now i don't know if she would be able to communicate with other reincarnations um but as of right because the dragon that uh shun has uh, her name's Faye. she can communicate with humans or she can communicate with shun no she can communicate with all humans so yeah so i don't know if it's just a spider thing or what it is or if it's just a skill or something she has to unlock later on but whatever the case may be she cannot communicate with humans as it is okay they don't understand her when she talks to them and it's funny though because you can see the contrast between the two like they'll show a scene uh something dealing with her and it's uh from the perspective of the human and honestly I thought they killed her because I thought she would have I thought she was the night terror spider they were talking about but but she was not that night terror spider they were talking about because uh, she wouldn't have got off like that and I believe um, that was another spider that was in there either that or a made-up story so um, because I, I doubt that she was killed by the hero at all because black bro I'm telling you she damn near undefeatable at this point so and then plus with her gaining the immortality ability there's no way that what's name would have been able to, the hero would have been able to get her get her gone like that so um i'm honestly confused on this whole how how this whole 15 year stuff and the only thing that's confusing me is i don't know who she is now like i don't know where she is 15 years from all the stories we're watching so that is the only thing that i've really been trying to figure out and i'm trying not to read the novels because i feel like if i read the novels then it's going to take away my curiosity it's, it's going to take away the fun that i'm having trying to figure out who she is or where she is you know what i'm saying so that's like just a little part that i'm really enjoying and i love that mystery aspect of it and then on top of that i love just watching her go through the adventures that she's going through and it's it's, it's an amazing show to watch y'all and if it's something that y'all haven't checked out y'all should check it out if it is something y'all have watched let me know your like thoughts and ideas on it and if you read the novel just tell me if she's still alive 15 years from now she has to be because she has immortality now but i just need a i just need a, a confirmation from someone that i know has read it or someone who knows the story just just say yes she's still alive don't tell me who she is just say yes she's still alive because i still want to figure out who she is um and if you like the show drop down and tell me things that you like about it tell me things you don't like about it um and if it's out, if it's something that y'all want me to react to on the channel, comment that down below. Cause I'll do, I'll, I'll probably drop a reaction or two on it. Um, but I, I'm totally going to talk about it again. Probably when the season ends, I'm going to do some notes, um, and really get my thoughts together and really just go over the series. Uh, I mean the season for what it is. And I just wanted to get this video out there, no, out there now. So y'all don't be too surprised if a whole review pop up later on on the on the season or something like that because like i told y'all uh reviewing anime is something i want to get into um i like the way that it's edited i like the way that um the voiceovers are on top of it and i love that type of um anime content you know what i'm saying i've been watching a lot and it's just something i want to dabble into alongside the reactions and then um some other things because if you guys haven't noticed i love to talk and i love anime and to talk about anime is just a dream you know what i'm saying every time i do it i'm happy i'm excited um so yeah i hope y'all enjoyed this very messy video i hope you guys got something from it i hope i got my point across that i've been binging uh this uh so I'm a spider so what show I've watched all 16 episodes that are out now and I hope that I got across the point that I'm really enjoying any of that and if you don't watch it I feel like you should watch it too if you like this video hit that like button if you are not yet subscribed and you're interested in anime content if you're interested in reactions reviews skits or anything funny or anything entertaining either whether it be manga or whether it be me whether it be music feel free to hit that subscribe button leave a comment down below and you already know we're at that part that comes in every video i don't like it i don't know if y'all like it or not
but that is the inevitable end. And now that leaves y'all with two choices, and those two choices are you can either watch this video or you can watch this video. But until the next video, it has been your boy Orlando X the Great, and I have got to go. Peace.